Then we move to the control devices. The control device is a component that govern the power delivered to an electrical load. Okay. And so uh, what um, under this uh, control device, uh, the switches be introduced. Uh, the first one switch uh, abbreviations and O normally open and NC normally closed represent the electrical state of this switch contact when the switch is not actuated. So manual operated switches um, means that the switch is controlled by hand form of switches. So uh, here is the example of the manual switch uh, type of switches single pull single throw okay uh, single pull double throw double pull single throw and uh, in this slide is like switch rotary switch uh, thumb well switches selector switch and push button switch so a lot of uh, manual switch uh, you can find it uh, in the lab okay so here uh, will be introduced on the mechanically operated switches. Switch is controlled automatically by factors such as pressure, position and temperatures. Okay, uh, not only the manual switches being uh, introduced, but uh, you need to know also the other uh, switches. Okay, uh, because uh, these uh, switches also well known uh, for the plants and process control uh, the example is uh, another limit switch micro switch and temperature switches or you can call it as a thermostat pressure switches level switches so factor for choosing type of switch so i list down here six point uh, six factors uh, for choosing type of switch first one is number of pulls and throws voltage and current uh, switching current and steady state current okay so higher current required larger contact areas and larger switches of actuations life cycle how reliable does the switch need to be how many times will it be operated each hour so there is a number of uh, actuations and then uh, environmental conditions and the last point is physical size depend on its rating and the number of poles the space variables and the visibility required are also considered then the second one okay uh, manual uh, mechanical switch okay uh, is a release electrically operated device that mechanically switches electric circuits an important part of many control system because it is useful for remote control controlling high voltage and current device with low voltage and current control signal and then um, a lot if you can see from uh, power plant okay uh, most uh, big industry still use the relay instead of the uh, automatic uh, uh, switch okay because uh, the relay switch um, easier to troubleshoot when have a problem occurred in the certain certain plan okay uh, from the figure when current flow through the electromagnet in and the two mechanical control relay a magnetic field that attract the iron arm of the arm armatures to the core of the magnet is set up okay so this is the, how the, uh, the uh, relay function as a result the contact on the armature and relay frame are switched okay so uh, we can see when it's um, have a contact between the amateurs and relay so we call as a normally uh, close okay so relay may have 
normally open contact or normally close contact or combination of both okay so uh, depend on what type of relay that you want to uh, use okay so whether you you want to submit uh, an O or NC or both of that so this is the uh, example of um, design of uh, relay okay uh, and the bottom one is the relay remote control so this is the um, circuit how it, the circuit uh, uh, design the wiring and then here a uh, type of relay uh, as you can see here we have uh, uh, two type be introduced uh, AMR and also the SSR okay what is the uh, AMR electromechanical relays a magnetic switch okay so electromechanical relay is a magnetic switch it turn a load circuit on or off by energizing an electromagnet which opens or close contact in the circuit so emr the electromagnetic mechanical release may be used in the control of fluid power valves and in many machine sequence control such as drilling, milling, breeding operations. Contain the most economical design for power application, can handle line surges and noise through closed contacts, not recommended for low voltage or low current applications, not recommended for use in environments with contaminants such as acid, ammonia, nitrogens or chlorine because they are not hermetically sealed okay. and then uh, solid state relay SSR replace the EMR in many applications no moving parts on off switching is accomplished electro electronically then the, this is the um, advantage of EMR and SSR Okay, you can see the uh, advantage of each of these uh, relay uh, for the EMR multiple contact high current capabilities no leakage when off isolation of the core circuit from the contact circuit uh, what the advantage of the SSR long life expectancy uh, fast switching and quiet operations so then uh, another uh, switches okay uh, is the solenoid so solenoid also uh, one of the switch that uh, can be uh, implement in uh, several applications so the application as you can see here uh, under the control of hydraulic flow control of pneumatic flows control of the opening and closing of various type of actuators Commonly used uh, electrical device that translate on and off electrical signal to and off, on off mechanical movement. Okay, so um, if you uh, want to design uh, your machines or uh, whatever application that you plan to use. Okay, um, this is suit. This is suitable for the uh, application that uh, from the electrical signal uh, to the mechanical uh, movement. So you can use the uh, solenoid as a switch. The common use of solenoid is heating system. In industrial setting, solenoid are used for large variety of process control on and off applications so this is the factor for in the choice of a solenoid for an application uh, the first one is the size of the mechanical load to be moved 
the stroke distance, the environments of operations, the type of electrical connection, the voltage and the type of current, whether AC or DC, current values, and the duty cycle in equation per minute. Then the fourth switch, uh, type of switch is a uh, timer. The most common type of timer is the time delay on. Okay, After the present time interval is completed, the contact change status from open to close or from close to open. When the call is de-energized, the contact return to their original open or closed state. Okay, so this is how the time delay on its functions. So the time contact utilized for control can be either normally open or normally closed. Many timers have both and O normally open or normally closed time contacts in their configurations. So then we move to the power electronics. For power electronics is power conversions and control from one form of power energy source to a desired form by using electronic means. Okay. The field of power electronic is concerned with the processing of electrical power using electronic device. The key element is the switching converter, which contains power input, control input ports, and a power output port. Okay, the key element in the switching converter. Okay. So these uh, three elements uh, are important. Contain power input, and then another one, um, control input ports, and the power output port. So an electric electric vehicle drive must convert DC input to AC output that has variable voltage and variable frequency okay so uh, just now about the power input okay we have power input control input ports and also the power output ports so you can see that power input, power output from the figure and also the control input port. So in this figure, this figure is for the block diagram of a power electronic system. So power electronic is power processing circuit and control. Okay, power electronic is a power processing circuit and control. So power semiconductor device used in power electronic is electronic test instruments, a semiconductor diode, transistor, thyristor, and also IC integrated circuit. So this is the example of the power semiconductor device. The first one electronic test instruments. Okay, uh, you can see in the lab we have a lot multimeters there in the lab and also the oscilloscope okay so then the second one is uh, semiconductor diode okay under the semiconductor diode we have a several type of diode okay rectifier diode okay zener diode uh, led laser diode Autodiode, and then um, another one for the uh, power electronics. Okay, uh, switch is the transistors. Okay, the transistor are semiconductor components which have three or more pins, and with which power can be amplified. Okay, so this is the example of the. Transistor, BJT, FAT, UJT, okay, and so on. Thyristors, okay, it's a semiconductor a components with at least three PN junctions, okay, silicon control rectifier, SCR, okay, and then try 
and then uh, the integrated circuit okay one uh, of the example on the power electronics okay ic ic is a complete electronic circuit that is contained within a single chip of silicon okay operational amplifier ic okay this is all the uh, example under the integrated circuit okay you can find out the uh, timer ic logic gates comparators, decoders and so on.